questioned my future of travel trailer life today. Hmm? I just don't trust it. <laughs> it's so funny. It's been a long day. Okay, it is like now 9 p.m. and we had to move. We just had to move. So we're set up again, but it's not great. We're at like a 2% downhill grade. Um, we're calling it. We got a lot of work still to do. We haven't eaten anything. Yeah, we're just, we're, so here we are. Do we look exhausted yet? I lied, we're moving again. I have such a headache this right now. Gonna work. Okay. We've well, got a plan. Got a plan. And we're on the move. And it is, I think, 11 o'clock now. I don't even know, maybe 10.30. <sighs> so this is really sad for me. And sometimes you just have to make sacrifices to live the life you want to live. And now it's time for the next chapter. We are Natalie, TJ, and the bold and brave Camo Dog. Three adventurers from Colorado who are on a mission to unearth this country's beauty as we travel in our towable home. We spent the last year navigating and exploring the Atlantic and Caribbean oceans, but now we are shifting gears to life on the road. Welcome to Adventures of a Lifetime. questioned my future of travel trailer life today after 33 hours of driving. Four days. Four days and all of our plans, tens of hours of research being rejected. I questioned my sanity in travel trailer life. So we have found a campsite. It is right here behind us. Um, me and TJ like, got out and just walked around and scouted out the area so we wouldn't get stuck <laughs> in an area we couldn't turn around in. And uh, so now I'm standing here holding a spot down just, so, just in case no one else comes. It is a Sunday, but you never know. So it's gonna be our little spot and the views across are so pretty. I'll show you in one sec once TJ comes over. Go. This way, hurry, hurry, hurry. Way, oh, this is so pretty right here. There's like a starburst and the car and camo on a mountain. Stunning. Okay, scooting out of the way. Run in park. Let me grab the dog. Don't any injuries. Okay, he's gonna go pull forward. We're gonna go up here. There he goes. And then he's gonna back up right where I'm standing at. This is our new little spot. I love it. Go straight back and then you'll go towards passenger side. Hmm? I just don't trust it. <laughs> it's so funny. It's been a long day and we're at this campsite now and we're just not loving the tools we have for the base of the hitch. I just want to know, will this work? very hollow. I want to ask somebody right now, but I can't because we don't have internet. 
<laughs> yeah. It's the final test to Timmy's day. What? The yeah, if uh, we'll Google it tomorrow when we get back to service. We don't know right now if we can use those as like a base for our hitch. It's a lot of pressure and weight on it. I just don't know. I don't know. This is such an incredible spot. The spot is perfect. <laughs> How do we do it? <laughs> and we've been using like wood blocks for our hitch, but they're kind of narrow. We need to get some better ones. It's been totally fine though until now. We're on a slope and we need a lot of them. And I'm not quite sure what we should do. Thought of me so easy and it's not. That's the issue. So yeah, I think it would help a little. So maybe we're going to pull it forward. Okay, let's go look and see. Here, I'll show you. So here's the issue. <laughs> we have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> we have rocks, we have wood, we have our building blocks that TJ has, and we just are worried about putting like the, the hitch onto these because they're pretty narrow. We should get wider ones, which we will get. We just don't have them yet. And we're pretty sloped. Very sloped. A lot. So maybe we'll pull it forward where it's not as sloped. That could work. <laughs> okay, we'll keep you tuned. Okay, it is like now 9 p.m. and we had to move. We just had to move. So we're set up again, but it's not great. We're at like a 2% downhill grade. Um, we're calling it. We got a lot of work still to do. We haven't eaten anything. Yeah, we're just we're, so here we are. We made it. We're, we're gonna we're gonna sleep tonight. So that's that's that. Um, yeah. Good night. <laughs> Do we look exhausted yet? I lied. We're moving again. <sighs> it's nine thirty. Yeah, TJ's eating. I had to eat, and when I sat down at the table, and the Cholula bottle slid at me and almost off the table. Not gonna, I have such a headache right now. Not work. It's just been, it was supposed to be so easy and set. I'm supposed to be in Tahoe right now at a nice campground. It did not work out. It resulted in us driving an exponential, exorbitant number of hours in a few day period. Got to a campsite. We weren't level. We moved spots because of a very grouchy neighbor we're trying to appease and the spot's even worse now but we're gonna have to move again now because we are very unlevel we don't have enough leveling blocks for the jack in the front we have a lot but like we're, it's pretty slanted so we're going to try and move more to another spot where it is level and everything will be situated and we won't be at a two degree slope forward and to the side it's like two to three actually i've heard i've heard two I've heard people say two degrees is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I, I believe them now. Yeah, it's a lot. We're like two, we're between two and three forward and to the side. So we're, we're sloping a decent amount. I have a raging headache right now. And that's where our wife is currently at. So Let's... we're going to hope to get to bed before midnight tonight. We have a ton of work to do tomorrow. Yeah. We got this baby these are the days this is like yeah tj literally probably almost like just broke his finger gonna pop his nail off trying to use a leveling jack and put a rock underneath it and i uh i slammed it with the rock oh a rough few days for us for sure we will get it all figured out and we'll be fine we'll, we're learning more and more don't show up to the campsite at 6 p.m lesson number one uh and we will get it all situated and be good and not make a lot of these mistakes and choices in the future. Okay, time to move. Let's go for a walk. Okay, so we can go find our new camp spot. Okay. We've got a plan. We've got a plan. So we're gonna move over to another area and hope that that works for us. It's going to work. And it's more level. We were trying to use rocks as leveling blocks. <laughs> this is too sloped. Of a spot. Luckily, we didn't move the car. No, for the first so, time. Yeah, so we're actually in a good spot to go reattach. It should just plop right back down, and all will be well. 
Camel in the car. Camel's in the car. Okay, we finally got the ball attached to the hitch. We gotta like shake the car around to get it on, of course, because nothing can be easy at 10 p.m. And we're gonna hook it up, I'm not putting the sway bar on, obviously. Don't need that to drive two minutes. And we're on the move. And it is, I think, 11 o'clock now. I don't even know, maybe 10.30. <sighs> it's really one of those days. It really, really is one of those days. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I just figured I'd walk ahead. We have a plan. We want, we want our little walk around. We figure out where we're going to go to. And now we have a plan. So we're going to go drive and do that. And it's a very narrow path. There. Probably hitting branches the whole way. and squeaky. He's going to go and do a turn my direction. So that way the hitch is uphill instead of downhill. That way we won't have a very far distance to the hitch. That's our plan. That light bar is so bright. <laughs> it's like a smiley face kind of. It's kind of funny. Okay, now I got to do a little level chalk. Let's uh Evaluate? Yes, one time. Okay, one time we're gonna do this, right? We would rather be downhill. Yes, the hitch is at a good spot. Okay. Um, do you wanna just leave it crooked? Is that, I mean, it's fine crooked, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty level. Does it look look level side to side? It does look kind of level side to side. Dear Lord, I hope it is. Okay, moment of truth. It says, oh, wait, one. Should we go up a tiny bit on that side? Low battery. <laughs> Maybe we'll roll up on that thing a little bit on just that side. a tiny bit? <laughs> no, we'll get the leveling black and let's go on it up a little bit. Not okay. very much, just a tiny little, little bit. I don't know, do we even need to? I really don't know. Lower the curtain. Why? Because it slants a direction. Yeah, it's hanging out. Okay, that's okay. a good little tool, isn't it? It is. Okay, leveling. Block. The jigger. Everything stayed good in there. I hope it didn't make it unlevel. <laughs> I'll literally cry. Okay, just keep your foot on the brake. Yep. Ready? Yeah, take your foot off the brake. Okay, here we go. Foot off the brake. We're gonna measure one more time. But it does look good. I, I think it looks good. Please tell me it's good. Zero. Or zero. I zero. I can't do it forward and back, but side to side, we're zero. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. And we're going to pull nighter and we're going to work all night. Woo, woo, we're woo, not woo, pulling woo. it all nighter. I am. <laughs> she said she was cold, so this is how we warm up. <laughs> I would. I was freezing. Is it coming off a car? Is it get up with it? No, it'll come off. It's coming off. I know, I think this thing is... Is just that hard? Yeah, this thing's getting kind of wonky. It's not good. Tell me when we're clear. You're clear. Okay. Well, go a little bit farther forward. Go up. Yeah. I see a pretty moon up there, kind of. Keep going? Yeah. Crank and cranking. Crank, 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 crank. <laughs> oh. Zero? I want zero. I have such a headache. I'm sorry. I think we did it. Okay, no, no, we did it. Is it high enough or low enough? No, it's good. It's just like barely between zero and one up front. So our heads are a little bit higher, which is good. Okay. We made it. Okay. I need to work on this video tonight, don't I? Yeah, and we're gonna pull a nighter. There's some coffee in the fridge, baby. Look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, here comes the dog. Come on, we're home. Here, baby boy. Come on up. Up, up. It's bedtime. Okay, it's here we bedtime. go. Time to finish up. So it is 11.30 p.m. 
and Natalie's inside working. And I'm out here doing some star trails because we have a crystal clear sky. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I'm kind of unwinding for the night and she has to work, but uh, I'll have to do that tomorrow. So. Well, today might be a very big day. Could be a big day. We have had a lot of thoughts and considerations and analyzed our life choices in the last 33 hours from all that driving. <laughs> we still love this. We just might need a new vehicle. I think we need a new vehicle. So you've been doing a lot of the driving. Yeah. And the issue is the Xterra is not does not seem like it's going to work for what we want to bring this thing our home through mm -hmm. like we want to be up in the mountains we want to be off grid we want to be on mountain passes and just like more rugged terrain and vertical and push uphill. <laughs> and push this thing hard yeah <laughs> uh, and i don't think the xterra has the juice to be able to do that it really does seem fine on like a lot of the highways and a lot of the roads we get good gas mileage yeah we get incredible like, gas we're fine on the roads it's just when we get like sort of this beautiful campsite right now and it is gorgeous and amazing but we had to go uphill like eight miles to get here and it was fine ish it, ish. it was fine -ish. it was fine until we had to back in up a six percent grade yeah and and then the car was like <laughs> like trying to like push this thing onto a leveling chalk uphill on dirt it wasn't it wasn't happy we tried yeah so and then the other concern is like going back downhill so we don't we are like basically empty right now we don't really have any water in our tanks because the xterra really does fine when it's empty it with, really yeah with like well, how much is it three thousand five hundred or three thousand eight hundred no, it's like, well, the driveway, the driveway. I think is like 3,300, and then we have some of our stuff in here also. So we're probably close to like 36. Probably more than that. 30... Probably, like, probably like 38, 39. Okay. But. The car's rated for five. The engine's yeah. rated for six. Yeah. So but... it's, we're just getting close to pushing it. But, so we'll say we're empty. So if we go dry without our water tanks filled, then we're fine. It really, it really feels fine driving yeah, it. Yeah, no, it really does. When we filled up with water at a campsite when we were over <laughs> in Oregon, I had a mental, had breakdown. A mental breakdown in the car, obviously, as you saw. Um, so we were like, well, we can make this work. Maybe we'll just like, just we'll go dry. We won't bring a lot of water with us. We go camping places and we'll just figure it out. But we started planning our month in Colorado and what we wanted to do. And Natalie realized, she's like, we just might have to stay at RV parks and like campgrounds. And we can't really go to these places because it's just not going to be safe to bring the car off roading. Yeah. And that's just not in our budget. To it's be... not in our budget. And it's not what we want to do. Right. Both. Yeah. We, we don't got this, be... we got this thing to, to be completely yeah. off grid in yeah. the beautiful nature. So oh, beautiful nature. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to really be strict on our budget if we're gonna make this work, like really strict. But as far as where we want to go, it would save us hundreds of dollars a month in RV parks and campgrounds and we, gas and gas if we can make this purchase. So we're gonna go test, like I guess, test it out and see what's going on. And we're gonna like try to convince them to let us. <laughs> borrow their truck for a little bit to bring it up to, here yeah because we want to bring this thing down the hill we want to know what it's actually like driving the truck versus the xterra yeah so, so we're gonna see if they'll <laughs> let us take the truck up the mountain hey can we take your nice new truck out hook it up to our trailer and then bring it back down the mountain to their dealership we won't go too off-roading <coughs> and then we'll tell them whether or not we want it yeah it seems like a great plan that's our plan so we're gonna go try that out <laughs> see what ends up being because the issue is like we're not gonna be in another big city we're like in salt lake right now we're not gonna be in another big city till denver and that's after all the things in colorado we really want to do so it'll be like another month or so of not being able to go camping where we want to camp so we're going to we're gonna go ponder go ponder life see what we can make work and maybe we'll have a new truck by the end of today maybe I kind of hope so. So we've arrived at the car dealership. 
Okay, so we have the hitch off. It's a big hitch. <laughs> and we have some of our tools to move the level of the hitch if we need to. And we are going to there's go the, drive. The <laughs> We're gonna go drive up to the mountains and go pick up the trailer and make sure that it works well. And as long as it feels good, we're going to come buy it. How pretty it Holy is. Holy crap. It's very blue, but I like it. So here it is. Here's what we're looking at today. And Ford F-150 XLT Sport. It's sleek, it's nice. We have our hitch put on. And we're gonna go give it a go. Well, I am really excited right now. I'm stoked. I'm like nervous. Just like spending money like stresses me out. Yes. But I don't want to be dangerous and I think it's going to be good. So we're going to go drive it up a mountain and then down the mountain and hook it up to our trailer and see how it all goes. And I hope that it is like worlds of difference and it's amazing and we love it. And then we'll have to convince them to let us sleep in their parking lot if we get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we're going tonight. Oh God. Feels good to be back in a Ford. It's my truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's my car. It's hopefully Camo likes it. it looks cozy. Yeah, you window. can see out the window. Do you That's like it? Oh yeah. He's a good little view. <laughs> I think he likes that. So we are hooking up the trailer to the truck. Nice looking truck. And we're gonna see if that's a good level. And now hopefully that is, this doesn't dip down in the front anymore and it's more flush as we drive. How's that? We are not sagging, which is amazing and wonderful. And now we're going to roll back off of leveling block so we can get that and then head on down the mountain. Okay. Okay, you can go forward. Okay. So we are all hooked up. You ready to do this? Yeah, we're gonna see how it feels and hopefully it is a nice, smooth, easy ride. Oh yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> It doesn't even feel like it's on there. It doesn't even feel like it's on there. It's all it's a world of difference. And you can see past it. Should I go right or left? Let's go right. Right, right. yeah. Right. Team decision. Head and right. Ooh, and look at those views. So how does it feel? I don't even notice it behind <laughs> me. Like the trailer was pushing the Xterra. We are now pulling the trailer. <laughs> Fully controlling this thing. That's amazing. You look very happy. You have not looked this happy going downhill so far. Woo! -hoo! See, no, no, Timothy, <laughs> eyes on the road. So I'm not even touching the brakes. Really? Yeah, I'm just in second gear. So we are moving everything over from the Xterra over to the new truck over here and getting everything all cleaned out. So this is really sad for me. Some of you I'm crazy for how much I care, but I love this car so much and it is so sad that it cannot do what we want it to do. It just it doesn't make sense, it's not safe. So we're gonna have to say goodbye to the car I love so, so much. But TJ is getting the truck that he loves. It's like his dream truck or his like favorite truck. So he's really happy. 
and sometimes you just have to make sacrifices to live the life you want to live and unfortunately that means getting rid of my car which they don't even make anymore so I probably won't have it again but we had some epic amazing fun off-roading crazy camping and amazing journeys over the few years and now it's time for the next chapter so say goodbye to the Xera today and hello to our, our new truck <laughs>